Good looking morning in Edmonton. Good morning, Canada. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I'm Devo Brown. Let's get into some entertainment. We're going to start with a little more somber stuff. We're talking about Anthony Bourdain. Now, we know he passed away. Uh, he took his own life a little bit ago. And here's finally what's coming out. It's Roadrunner is what it's called. It's a documentary about his life. Now, we had this announcement about this documentary happening a little while ago. But now we've got the trailer finally for this. And so here's the deal with this, this documentary. It is a very big insight on his life with a lot of people that was close or that were close to uh, Anthony Bourdain. So it picks up just after the success of his first memoir, Kitchen Confidential, when he was just in his 40s and surprisingly pretty camera shy. Now, the documentary is by Oscar winner Morgan Neville, who was uh, 20 feet away was the documentary that he did. And it was about backup singers uh, to the big, big stars on that. So this guy knows his stuff. Using archival footage alongside interviews of those who knew him the best, including his second ex-wife, so his most recent ex-wife, uh, who was interviewed quite candidly and speaks very openly about their relationship in this documentary. The one person they did not interview because of the turmoil that was within their relationship was Asia Argento, who was his girlfriend at the time. So uh, that is not there. Of course, his story, as mentioned, has a tragic end. He died by suicide in June of 2018. So just, uh, just a few years ago now. And it uh, covers up until the final years of his life and shows why the legacy will live on. So that is coming out uh, as of tonight. So you can check it out. It's called Roadrunner, and it features the life and death, tragic death, of Anthony Bourdain. Madonna getting another documentary here as well. Madam X is what this one is gonna be called. And so the release of this documentary film looks at her uh, support of her 14th studio album and the tour behind that, which she had this kind of persona, which she called herself Madam X. Now, according to the press statement, it's gonna take viewers on a journey as compelling and as uh, audacious as Madonna's fearless persona. A secret agent traveling around the world, changing identities, fighting for freedom, behind the scenes look between 2019 and 2020 on that tour, 48 on stage performers and so much more. Last documentary, if you recall, from Madonna was in 1991, which was called Truth or Dare. This will come out in October is when you're going to see Madam X. Now, Megan Fox says that, and we talked about this, it was the age thing that people were talking about with her and Machine Gun Kelly. It's a four-year age difference, and people are questioning it. Uh, not a big deal at all with that age difference, so people can back off of that. But she said, and Dina said, I want to ask you about this. She made a list of pros and cons before dating and starting to date Machine Gun Kelly. The, the list. Okay. Now, have you physically done a list, or has your partner done a list to decide whether they're gonna date you or not. Not that I know of. <laughs> if they did, I wouldn't, I, I can guarantee you my wife didn't, because if she did, there'd be nothing but cons. <laughs> I guarantee you she did. Uh, she, she said, ultimately, the, look, the pros obviously outweighed the cons. They've been going strong uh, since that list. Now, they kind of went public uh, a little bit earlier this year. Uh, the one thing that it's to note here, Machine Gun Kelly in a recent interview said, yo, I've had a crush on her for so long, so no much kidding. so that I had a poster of her in my room. Now, is that weird? No. That no, makes no. Were meant to be. Maybe weird. they were meant to be. No. He actually gets to be with his crush. And I'll tell you this. She's already been married once. She has kids with Brian Austin Green. Mm -hmm. If she feels I got to make a list to make sure if I bring this guy into my life, it's legit. I get it. Like, I'm not judging her for the list. That's the poster that was in his room. I mean, not I a mean, little bit odd, right? And also, because she was in Transformers, as a swing, he's got a Decepticon logo tattooed on his arm. <laughs> Because of her. <laughs> okay, I didn't know super that. fan. That's hilarious. Super fan. Nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it myself with pros and cons lists. No. Having a having a poster on your wall. No, there's nothing wrong. No. I wish the kids luck. The yeah. tattoo. Wish them all the best. The poster. Yeah. This the is list. the least weird Hollywood couple I've ever seen. <laughs> Honestly. There's nothing wrong with this. It's working. There we go. Uh, are we gonna board. get dancing soon? Is that what's dance? happening? Yeah. Can we dance on this Friday of Devo's so. birthday eve? Let's do Let's that. Do it. We're gonna do a 1920s. Sepia tone dance, get off the couch and join us right after this. She has been waiting for this all day. I can't wait to do this. Eh? Watch Dina cut a rug.